Hi there, in this video I'm going to have a look at the ignition system for the Farmboy Hit Miss engine. But before I do that, I'll show you the engine that I've just assembled. Well to be honest, I know very little about Hit and Miss engines. Um, and I've been playing around with um, the gears to make sure that the exhaust valve opens at the right time. So, it's uh, actually got some decent compression as this little engine. So that's the compression stroke. So that's the firing stroke, and as it comes round, we should see the um, cam coming round to open up the exhaust valve. And it's just starting to open now, so it's just coming round to this stroke here. So that's the exhaust stroke now, so it'll push that out, all the exhaust fumes. And as we come back up, the exhaust valve closes again. And that's the uh, intake stroke, so it'll uh, suck fuel in, all being well, and we come back around to the compression stroke. So that's how I understand it. See, it has got some good compression on it. What I also did was, um, I opened up the uh, intake on the carburetor and I put my mouth against that so I could feel suction and I blocked that hole up there. If you do that, you can actually feel the suction. So, all being well, once we get this uh, into some fuel, it will actually pull some uh, fuel into the uh, into the cylinder. Fingers crossed, anyway. Now for ignition, I've got a couple of options. And this is option one, uh, which uh, James Chaff kindly sent me. Um, and this is based upon a car ignition system. Now, car ignition has sort of moved on since I used to mess around with it 40-odd uh, years ago. Um, but anyway, I think this is out of a VW car. And uh, it's got an HT lead coming out of it, which will go to the spark plug. And it's got these four leads here. So if if I wire it up based upon James's diagram, um, it should actually uh, produce a spark at the spark plug when the magnet on the flywheel, or in this case, magnet on this, uh, passes a reed switch, which uh, James has also sent me. So uh, I'll set it up on the bench first of all, and uh, see if we can get it to uh, to work. Well, this is a bit of a lash up, but I've got the magnet on here and um, I've cabled it up as per the diagram. So, in theory, if I run this magnet across this reed switch, I should get a spark there. And sure enough, I do. The only slight drawback with this is you need a, a decent power supply, um, 12 volts and uh, I think it needs to deliver around about 2 amps. Now unfortunately I've just come across a bit of a problem um, and I found that uh, my internet connection had gone down in the garage um, and uh, having looked at it, um, every time I create a spark it interferes with the internet connection and uh, I've had to reboot my router here because uh, Wi Fi had all gone and also the direct connection to the TV. And uh, the TV signal gets affected every time I make a spark. So, unfortunately, 
at this moment in time I think I'm just going to have to put this to one side it, it must be the way the power supply is working but um, anyway I don't know the answer so it looks like I'll have to uh, look at option B okay so option 2 is uh, based around uh, a Hall effect sensor and um, this is a solution that's been developed by Simon Burt so he's managed to get this uh, circuit board printed and designed and he's done a cracking job on it and uh, I've attached the hall sensor to this uh, bracket that I've 3D printed so that, as per, that is as per the plan and uh, what I'll do before trying to uh, put it on the machine um, I'll uh, just rig it up on the bench and uh, see if it works so again this is a bit of a lash up but um, <laughs> uh, what you do need you need a coil a 6 volt coil so I just bought that uh, an old motorbike coil or something like that this is a Lucas one brand new supposed to be decent um, so based on the instructions uh, for the hall sensor the left hand pin is plus 5 volts though so that goes to um, the middle connector I think it is on the board here the right hand pin goes to digital is the digital output and that goes to the input on the board and um, uh, we've got uh, positive coming in from the power supply here we got negative coming in from the power supply here and also negative uh, being attached to uh, the ground and the middle pin also uh, on the hall sensor goes to ground as well and I've attached ground to the spark plug so uh, here we've got the outputs going to the coil and then the coil and the HT lead going to the top of the spark plug and there's also a very useful LED here which uh, sort of lights up when uh, the spark plug sparks in theory and uh, that should be really good for uh, getting the timing right so uh, I think that covers um, how it's all connected up so uh, what I'll do is put the power on so again my power supply 6 volt input and uh, apparently um, it might run on batteries this I'm not too sure uh, about how many amps it's going to take but um, give it a try hey that looks pretty good Excellent, and uh, my internet stayed up as well, which is a bonus. <laughs> well, that was an interesting uh, little exercise, and uh, James's solution produces a really rich spark. I just can't work out why it uh, zaps my network. And uh, apart from that, it's definitely a viable solution. And James actually uh, uses it on his hit and miss engine. Um, so I'll put a link to uh, his video uh, in my video description. Uh, now in terms of Simon's solution, um, it's probably more expensive, uh, but it does use this little hall sensor and uh, it's quite a neat solution. Um, I'll put a link to Simon's uh, channel uh, in my video description where he uh, sort of covers uh, some of the development of this uh, ignition module. Uh, I'm not sure whether Simon's planning on marketing uh, this solution, but I'll include his contact details as well. And uh, if he subsequently decides that he don't want to market it, then I'll just take his details uh, of the video description. Uh, anyway, hopefully I'll get this little engine running uh, in the next uh, few days. Uh, so, I hope you found the uh, video interesting and I hope to see you later.